Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to episode 1 of Java FX 101. In this series, we're going to learn how to make graphical user interface applications or applications that display a window with various uh, components in the window. Um, a little while ago, I was doing some research about Java FX because I had heard about it and knew that it was an alternative to Swing. I found this very interesting piece of information at uh, Oracle's official website uh, on the Java FX uh, FAQ page. You'll notice number six is Java FX replacing Swing as the new client UI library for Java Standard Edition, and it does say yes. However, Swing will remain a part of the Java SE specification for the for the foreseeable future, and is therefore included in the Java runtime environment. While we recommend developers to to leverage Java FX APIs as much as possible when building new applications, it is possible to extend the Swing application with Java FX, allowing for a smoother transition. Uh, because of this information, uh, I have decided to stop the Swing 101 series uh, because Swing is now officially a deprecated technology that will soon be removed from Java altogether. Um, so I don't really see a reason to go into it, especially since after trying out Java FX and porting some of my personal applications from Swing to Java FX, I find that it is infinitely better than Swing. It's a lot newer, uh, and it has it's just a lot better. And you'll see if you've used Swing before, and then you switch over to use this. Uh, so I'm going to stop the Swing series, and instead I'm going to start this one, which will use Java FX. It has the same effect as Swing, uh, but it's a little bit better uh, to use, and it's a nicer... It, the programs actually look nicer when you run them. Uh, so everything about this is pretty much better, and Swing is out of date. Um, now one important thing is if you take a look at number 5, um, you'll see as of Java Standard Edition 7 Update 6, the libraries are installed as part of the Java Standard Edition. Standard version um, is available for uh, Standard Edition 6 users, Windows only, until February 2013, which obviously already passed, which means uh, that you need to make sure that you have at least Java 7 Update 6 installed on your computer in order to work with Java FX. So you want to have that installed and make sure that your project is configured to use um, at least Java 7. Now there are different versions of uh, Java FX. There's the first one which was on uh, Java 6, then Java FX 2 came out for Java 7, uh, then Java FX 8 came out with Java 8, so they did a little bit of a jump there, but now I guess they're numbering the Java FX versions with the Java versions. Uh, so if you are using Java 8 with your project, you might have more uh, classes and methods available to you than if you're using Java 7. So I'd recommend using Java 8 if you can. Uh, if you are distributing the application, um, it's usually safe safer to go with a, a lower uh, version so that more uh, people can run it. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a new Java project, which I'm going to call Java FX 101. Right here in JRE, where it says use an execution environment JRE, you have uh, different choices. I have Java 6, 7, and 8 all installed. I'm going to choose Java 8 because I want to take advantage of Java FX 8, uh, which does have more features. So that's what I'm going to use. So we'll go ahead and finish, create the project. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our package, and um, as per the naming specifications, I'm going to call mine me.pogo629dev.javafx101. I think that's what I called my package here, too. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we want to make our main class. Um, okay, so in... If you have used uh, Swing before, you would know that you could either make your main class extend JPanel or in your main method you could instantiate a JPanel. It works a little bit different in Java FX. The first thing that you want to do is pick your main class uh, and have this class extend application. 
An application is a class that is provided to you by JavaFX. Okay, so this project is not set up correctly. Let's see why. Let's see if we have JavaFX in here. There's JavaFX right there. Okay, hang on one second. I'm going to figure out why this isn't working. I was able to fix it. What I did was, um, if you get this issue, something like that, go to Properties, Build Path Libraries, remove your um, Java Runtime Environment Library, then go to Add Library, JRE System Library, uh, and then you can choose Java 8, or you can go over here um, and choose Java 8 as well. Uh, but you want to make sure, I think I had the wrong library chosen or something. Uh, but now it does work. So you'll see that the import is javafx.application.application. .application, and then main will get a red squiggly line because there is one method in application that we need to implement. So if you get this far, uh, then you're all set up and you can use Java FX. Now throughout this whole series, uh, if you do get to a point where I have some sort of class or method or something that you don't have, it might be because you're not using Java FX 8. Um, so if not, you would want to download Java 8 and then use Java 8 and then you'd be fine. So what we want to do is we want to first, uh, we're going to implement the one method it needs, which is a public void start, which takes in a stage called stage, and then import um, javafx.stage.stage, .stage. and before we uh, write that, we need to write our method, main method, and we're just going to write launch args, and launch is a static method that is defined by application. So when your main method is called, you call this launch method that automatically um, handles the arguments. If the arguments pertain to JavaFX, it'll handle the arguments, and then it will automatically call this start method. Now in JavaFX, a stage is pretty much equivalent to uh, the J frame. So a stage is the actual window, and if you look at it, um, you'll see that there are methods um, like set title. Uh, which would be obviously the title at the top, um, like set full screen. So these all obviously pertain to a window. There are also scenes in JavaFX, and a scene is sort of like the root pane of the J frame. So the scene, basic, so e so each stage will contain one scene, and within that scene, all of the components are contained. So we will. Um, Get there. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and say stage dot set scene. We're going to make a new scene, and uh, we can use. It has a few constructors. Uh, it definitely needs the parent, which is the um, base item that will show up. And what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and say pain pain is equal to new pain. Um, panes are basically the equivalent of J panels. Uh, there are no event, uh, sorry, layout managers. There are no layout managers in JavaFX. Um, instead, the panes, uh, you choose the names. So like if you, instead of the grid layout, there's actually a grid pane. Instead of the box layout, there's a V box and an H box. But we will get to that in a later video. So we're just making a standard pane. Uh, so right here when we set the scene, we're making a new scene. The parent is going to be the pane. That's going to be the pane is going to hold all of the different objects, the different components that show up. Um, and then you can also um, specify the width and the height of the scene. And then that will size the stage accordingly. We can also do stage um, dot set title, and we'll call it JavaFX101. And there are other methods in here. Um, don't worry about like all of these property things and all of these like set on events, those kind of things. Uh, but there are other things that you can do, um, like you can make it not resizable. Um, lots of things. And then finally you want to call stage.show and then that will show it. So if we go ahead and run this, 
Let's see if it'll work. So as you can see, a new window pops up. It is automatically centered in the screen. Um, in Swing, you had to do that manually. And as you can see, it is completely empty. It is 640 by 480. It's the right size. And you can't resize it, and there's no um, plus button or full screen button in Yosemite like there is here. So you obviously can't uh, resize it. And if I hit that X, it does quit the entire application. Uh, which is something that you had to specify manually in uh, Swing. Alright, so that's all for this episode. I just wanted to give you an introduction to JavaFX, explain why I stopped the Swing series early and started this one, and then we uh, you know, set up our application class, and then we set up our stage with some basic things. Now we're going to learn about, uh, in the next episodes, we're going to learn about the different types of components and then the different types of events uh, that happen in that you can you know listen for in JavaFX. So as always subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video click the like button and I will see you guys soon with some more uh, JavaFX and other coding. Bye for now.